It's that time of year. If you get health insurance from your employer, the annual fall open enrollment period with all of its choices probably makes your head hurt. Early show financial contributor Ray Martin is here to walk us through some of the important decisions many of us need to make. That's I right. tell you, we get that booklet sometimes and we just it's overwhelming, but it's very, very important to take a look at what's inside with all the talk about health insurance reform mm -hmm. and everything else, are we likely to see cutbacks from employers? No, you're not. Most employers plan to keep their benefits packages and cost structures they're offering to employees intact. Okay. And most employees plan to keep spending what they spend on their benefits, even as they cut their spending in other right. places. As we're projecting the forward. Benefits are very important for oh, folks. As we're projecting yep. forward, what are the big, most important decision to make? This whole notion of coverage versus need. What do you mean by that? Okay. You need to look in open enrollment at the coverage you have right now versus your needs next year because you're making advanced elections for the benefits sure. that you'll need for next year. But you also have to think about pre-existing conditions to make sure that the benefits elections you make for next year are covering those pre-existing conditions. The medical services you may need, the health of your family members, if you're bringing any new family members on, online next right. year, for example, and the premiums and co-payments, the higher those are, the lower cost your benefits are, but you have to pay for those premiums and co-payments. Let me give you a practical example. If you have health coverage now, but you're expecting a new child next year, mm -hmm. you want to review that health coverage to make sure it pays for the services you need, like you might want uh, an epidemic Dural next year uh, right. in that uh, childbirth. Make sure the medical coverage you choose does cover that and cover it well, and also the pre-existing condition. So this, it really, it, it is incumbent on everybody to really do their own due diligence in this. So you don't want to end up in a situation where, oh, I thought it was covered on that, and you're not. And now I'm not. And I could have made an election. Now, now's but, the time. There you Open go. Open enrollment season. All right. Yep. A couple of big options you want to talk about that I find so interesting. Yep. These uh, pre-tax, these things where you can invest in, in pre-invest in something, and it's pre-tax money. What are they? Okay. These are pre-tax spending accounts. Flexible spending account mm -hmm. and health savings account. Both allow you to have money taken out of your pay completely pre-tax and spend tax-free for qualified out-of-pocket medical costs like wow. deductibles, co-insurance, co-pays, out-of-pocket costs for prescription drugs yeah. and, and over-the-counter drugs, procedures, eye, eye, eye procedures, sure. uh, dental, whatever. There, there, are, and there are two pluses. different types, flexible okay. spending and health savings accounts. Okay, but and there are pluses or minuses yep. on these two, right? And big differences between the two. A flexible spending account, the money you put into that account is a health savings account and dependent care account. You have to spend the money by the end of the year Ooh. on out-of-pocket costs right. or you lose it. Right. They're only offered by your employer. Mm -hmm. And you can use them with any health insurance option that you have with okay. your employer. All right. The All limits right. are like $5,000 or $6,000 per year for health and dependent care flexible spending accounts. Use it or lose it is the okay. deal. Okay. And the other one is? A health savings account. It's a newer option. Not all employers offer it, uh -huh. but you, you buy a high deductible health insurance plan with a higher deductible. Right. You can put con contribute three to $6,000 single and family coverage in these accounts. If you yeah, don't use the money, over. you roll it over and keep it next year and keep building it. Right. And these are available to anyone. So if you have, if you buy a high deductible health insurance plan, you'll have to know that's a special option. Right. Then you can open up a health savings account, put this money in, roll it over every year, and keep building a fund of money for medical expenses, maybe down the road in retirement, you can use completely tax free. Wow. Now, not all employers offer this. Right. Ask them. And if they don't, ask them if they should. It's generally for younger folks looking with not a lot of health care needs right now, and they can help save for so medical costs in retirement. There you go. Good all advice. Right. Thanks so much, Ray Martin. No, you're welcome. Good stuff. For more on open enrollment, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.